Hey boys, it's Super. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Last time we made our way through Mount Blaze, we had to battle a Moltres. And, uh, we're still on the run. We've gone further north than we've ever gone before. And we just finished up an ice path cave thing. It was like a transition thing now to get items, I think. Because it wraps around and brings you back here. So we have to go. To Frosty Forest. Otherwise, we're just gonna loop back around. So I did it once off screen and I got a level for Pikachu myself. Charmander is not too far behind and we have some items, so I feel better, I think. I don't know. <laughs> to be determined. I'll look stairs right away. I'll take them. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> has that very frozen -y vibe to it. Another ferret. I got the rocks that Charmander had often because um, attracting too many and attacking too many Pokemon that I didn't want to at the time. And I want to save them because like, I don't know what's coming up. So... Hello! Are you the first one? I had switched to slam because I ran out of PP. So... Oh, money! Starting to see a train with these mount whatevers, and I got a feeling we're gonna see either an Articuno or a Lugia. <laughs> it's gonna be a bird. <laughs> Look, there's an apple. Ditto transformed. There's dittos in here. We're gonna transform into my money. <laughs> That'd be the end of them. Thanks, Charmander. That was the ditto. Well, we found it. We saw an Absol and uh There we go. It ran away. I hope we don't have to face that thing, because... I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Come on, Charmander. There you go, buddy. Getting closer to your level. There's my stairs. Floor five. Can I pick you up? Hmm. I feel like I want that. Um. Three, four orange berries, one petcha berry. What's petcha again? Paralysis. Poison. No. We'll keep that. All right. We'll go for what we have. There's another one. That's a pile of swine. There's your level, buddy. Okay, and there's a ditto in here. A dido. Another ditto. Oh, dead end. Ugh, you you hurt. That was a ditto, okay. <laughs> That's fine then. Money. Oh, 
What is this? Uh, welcome. Items. I, c I can buy items. So this is like a safe area? Let's eat it. This is my mat there, buddy. Get off of here. Yeah, okay. Here you go. <laughs> so, use him. This is a ditto. <laughs> Called it. You can do it, Charmander. Perfect. That was actually a nose pass. Where am I going? Pile of swine. Uh oh. I'm thinking Charmander is not a good one to have in here. <laughs> that damage he just frozen now. Any day now. Charged up enough. Another one. Perfect. That was better. Where is... Are these stairs? Oh, they're there. <laughs> that was just... Crazy. Uh-oh. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The unfeeble flow of icy wind is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Uh oh, someone knows we're here. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's keep going. Mighty Anna. Somebody knows we's here. That's not good. I like that Cacleon shop. I wonder if that was in Mount Blaze. I just never explore enough to find it. Oh, like an Aeron. Or a Larion, I mean. Oh, here we are. Uh, sleeping. Charmander, you have type advantage. You should be helping. There you go. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to do. Stairs right off the get-go. What is this move? Frustration. Teaches move frustration. Inflicts damage on the target and inflicts greater damage if the user's IQ is low. Yeah, we're not going to use that. <laughs> we're not even going to pick that up. Snow runt. You're up, Charmander. Take over. Or not. Thanks, man. You're a great help. <laughs> great help. What is this one? Hidden power. I think I have one of those. Try to get over to help you. I'd say it was slowed. Nice. <laughs> mm, 
money. And a yellow bean. Or gummy. I'll never get that right. I'll always call them beans. <laughs> they look like beans. I mean, come on. Tell me that's not a bean. If it looked like a little gummy bear, then I would call it a gummy bear. There's nothing gummy about what that at all. <laughs> nothing. Uh, raises... Pokemon IQ electric type works the best. I'm I am the electric type. I that's all I can do. I don't have enough space to carry it, so we won't worry about it. Don't do that. <laughs> Well, I'm going all around the wrong way. Shouldn't be anything over here now, because it's like a dead end. <laughs> they're, they're coming, though. Stairs! That's where you were hiding. Okay, so we have the save point thing. I'll make a quick save. So we nearing the top, or what? Must be. Frosty Grotto. Weather Snow. So what does that mean? Am I gonna take damage or something? I don't know. Right on. Right on. It's very dark in here. There's a reviver seed in here? I want that. Who has it? Haha, <laughs> that failed. That experience though, like 250? That's not half bad. Maybe now would be a good time to equip those rocks. I don't know. Go a few more floors anyway. Let's see what we have up around here. Um, I'll come around to you. You're doing great. See, I told you you were doing great. If it was a reviver seed, I would have picked that up. That's alright. Wow. Okay, we're going to find the the door every time. Because that was just too scary. Not fit. Freaking Rhyhorn. <laughs> Unless I found a Reviver Seed. Oh god, no. Okay, good job. I'm thinking the rocks. I really am. Yeah. Seems like a good time to do it. Thank you, Static. Come at a better time. These guys are tough. Let's get somewhere in the open. Oh, is that a reviver seed? It is a reviver seed. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 
How's my belly? 65. I don't want to use an orange berry. Get rid of this plain seed. Go. Something getting closer. Let's get away from that. Don't want to deal with it right now. Or at all. Come on, Charmander. There's my stairs. Whew. <laughs> oh. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out of... I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. Shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Yep. We have a battle. Huh? Suka, did you s just say something? No. I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist on persist on trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Oh, it's getting bright. It's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting the light. Articuna. I am Articuna, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with my might. Let us begin. No. Oh man. Do it. Yes, static. <laughs> Thank you, static. One. This should be almost dead now. Yeah, there we go. Whew. <laughs> Please, Articuno. We have to get through, no matter what it takes. Please let us pass. No, I can't allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest's air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warm warmed up. I'm still freezing, but... The floor of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting, snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We, we don't have anything to do with that, it's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. What isn't our fault that snow started to melt here? It's not just here. Natural calamities are taking place everywhere right now. Forest frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? What? Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it! A Absol. There is nothing false in what they say. Calamities are indeed occurring in that in nature everywhere. Is is this true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never expected such before. Experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. However, Huh? You must try to present the 
prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promised Articuno. Phew, that was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they're left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instincts warn me. So... Uh, I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will... Really? Really. To put an end of the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol. Yay, new member! Uh, no. And so. After getting through the Frosty Forest, Masuka's team headed further north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. Tracy Mountain Pass seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Commander looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us up ahead? Or ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Brr, it's too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, Masuko, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that empty that's empty except for us. I have a feeling there's nothing ahead of here, even if we keep moving. And I'm getting exhausted. We too. What's gonna to happen to us? Don't worry, we'll be fine. Sure, that's right. There isn't any point in wondering about what might happen. Not after coming this far. Sorry, Masuka. I was just feeling sorry for myself. I have faith in you, Masuka. That's what brought me here. And that's not changing. I still have faith in you, Masuka. Look, I'll keep going wherever you go. Yes. Chime to trust me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. What? What was that? Dizzy. Or what? Huh? Something wrong, Masuka? Finally. Finally, you have arrived. Someone... Someone is talking to me. Charmander. No, the voice isn't Charmander. This voice. I've heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're. What? Masuka, is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little further ahead, there's a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Inside this peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait! Hey, Masuka, Masuka! What's the matter? What happened? Oh, so something like that happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. And that's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm made so. Ninetales is just a legend. It really exists. And the Ninetales is up at the peak. Masuka! 
All the effort we put into getting here is finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet nine tails and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions other have elders have about you, Masuka. Awesome. Well, I have no options. I'll use this one this time. Listen, Masuka. Don't be so worried. It will be all right. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Ninetales, Masuga. The heartless human who abandoned the Cardivore. It may be you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. You believe so much in me? Well, there was that a time when I had some doubts. But now, I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it's alright. Masuka, you, you're a really good sort. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in Tiny Woods, Masuka. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. It is strange, isn't it? But Masuka, I believe in you. Anyway, we know we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Masuka, let's do our best. We will do our best in the next part. I'm going to save and check storage and why not. I don't know if this is a split path or not, but anyway. We'll see what happens in the next part. I'm Zuga, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.